Hello, Karen Garvin. Divine dog training, the integrated approach. I have a question for you. Why is it that cat owners, they can sleep with their cats, nobody gives them a hard time, but for dog owners, it can be a whole different situation. Whenever I'm interviewing a new client, I need to know what the life of 24 hours living with their dog looks like. So I'll always come to the question, where does your dog sleep at night? Their heads go down, they look so embarrassed. They're like, well, we know we're not supposed to, but we better sleep with us. And I laugh and I say, you know what? It's nobody's business who your dog sleeps with. Sleeping with a dog can actually be a solution in certain instances, particularly if you have an infant puppy. Here's a recent client that I had who adopted this dog and they were told in the beginning that this dog was very shy and fearful, but they had no idea really how fearful she was. They were traumatized, the dogs traumatized. On our first talk together, I found out that the same dog, Pepper, had slept with its former owner. So I asked the question, how would you feel about allowing Pepper to sleep with you? Their answer, oh my God, we would love it. So it began. We began that way. We also began with a number of strategies, other strategies, and here we are weeks later, and Pepper has made a huge turnaround. When I was talking to her owner the other day, I said, of all the strategies that we've incorporated so far, what do you think had the greatest impact, the greatest breakthrough? She said, hands down, allowing Pepper to sleep with them. The integrated approach to dog training realizes that we need freedom in the framework, right? Sleeping with a dog is not the root of all problems. Now, I don't sleep with my dogs. I mean, my bed is probably the only hair-free environment I have. <laughs> but to each their own. Thank you.